what I'm calling for him to do today. Jagmeet Singh, stop selling out the workers. Stop. Well, I wouldn't have had to do that in this case. The reason that we have these strikes is because of inflation. We had last year the largest number of days lost to strike since 1986. What do we have in 1986? Inflation. Inflation leads to strikes because workers and unions have to fight to get back what they lost in purchasing power. Well, how did the inflation happen? The government doubled the debt. Justin Trudeau printed $700 billion of cash. We incre he increased the money supply by 40% while the real economy grew by 4%. When you add money 10 times faster than you add the stuff that money buys, then you get inflation. And that screws over workers because they live off wages. If you're a billionaire, like the people Trudeau vacations with, then you don't have to worry about inflation because your assets are inflation proof or even inflation positive. You get richer. It's a transfer of wealth from the have nots to the have yachts. And you know what? It, it's ironic. It's all done with Jagmeet Singh's support. He can huff and puff all he wants, but he supported the inflationary policies that destroyed the wages of working class people. And he, support, he supports what Justin Trudeau did on the rail strike. Do you know how we know? Do you know how we know that? Do you know how we know that? No. Do you know how we know that, J that Jagmeet supports it? Because he's still in a coalition with them. And if Jagmeet didn't support it, he would respond to my letter this afternoon and say he's pulling out of the costly coalition and he's going to vote to bring down Trudeau and cause a carbon tax election. And that's what I'm calling for him to do today. Jagmeet Singh, stop selling out the workers. Stop being sellout Singh. Put the people ahead of your pension. Vote for a carbon tax election now.